Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me, and welcome to your June monthly readings for each and every zodiac sign, yeah? Um, if you've been following me for some time, you know that I use, I was doing readings bi-monthly for the zodiac signs, but that has become too taxing, okay? It's a lot, a lot of work, and I have a lot going on um, in life, so I have to really pull it back a little bit. So instead of doing bi-monthlies, I'm just going to do it once a month for each zodiac sign. However, I am adding some extra oracle guidance into the readings. And this is something that I've been wanting to do for some time now. I'm really, really excited to bring this to you guys. For this month, I will be pulling, I will be using, um, you know, the traditional Tarot deck. I have the Arcanum deck that I'm using this month. But then for Oracle Guidance, I'm going to be pulling Action Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns by Cordelia Francesca Brobs. I love this deck because mainly I love, I just love unicorns. And then we have um, Spiritual Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck by Alana Fairchild, okay? I'm, I'm really so happy to be doing it this way. Um, I actually wanted to add Oracle Guidance into it for some time now, but because it was bi-monthly and it was so much work to begin with, I didn't want to make the readings longer um, and take more time than I had to. But now because I'm doing this, you know, once a month, I'm definitely going to be keeping this Oracle Guidance in. I may switch it up. I think I am going to stick with the Crystal Mandala Oracle for spiritual guidance, but I may change over when it comes to action, uh, physical guidance from the oracles. Okay, I am available for private readings. Um, all of the information for that is in the description box below. So if anything resonates with you and you want to get a deeper understanding of it, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can email me and we can chat a little bit and I can schedule you and all and everything like that. Um, payments are through PayPal. I will send you a uh, an invoice from PayPal and we can do that. As soon as payment is secure, I will be able to uh, schedule your reading officially. Um, and just in case anyone was wondering if you are in the New York City area or you will be in the New York City area anytime soon, I am still doing readings at Om Shanti Bookstore. I'm sorry, bookshop in um, Manhattan on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. The website is in the description box below. Um, if you do want to get a reading with me there, I highly recommend that you call ahead of time and schedule the reading. I am there every Monday from 11 to 5. Um, scheduling it that way will ensure that you get your reading um, at the time that you want. Otherwise, if you walk in, you know there's a risk that I may not be available at that moment or whatever, okay? Please keep in mind, guys, that these are general readings, all right? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And please do not try to fit something in where you know it doesn't belong, okay? If something doesn't resonate with you, just let it go. Um, and also, if you know you're in the reading and you're getting in there and it does, it's not really resonating with you and you've been watching it for a few moments and it's still not resonating with you, just move forward. I do encourage you guys to check out not only your sun sign, but your moon, your rising, and your Venus, okay? Your sun sign um, is, you know, it is like the main thing, sure, but then watching your moon and your rising, at least, can help you get more information. And like, if you don't resonate with your sun sign, then you might resonate with your moon and rising. And then also, if you're looking for love guidance, I would highly recommend that you check out your Venus sign, okay? You could not, you may not resonate with any of them except for one, you know? So like, just check it out, see how you feel and see what resonates. And I believe that's all, yeah. So without further ado, let's get into the readings. <laughs> Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading for June 2018. Let's do this. All right. So, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Capricorn for the month of June 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. So immediately, Capricorn, I'm seeing pink which is the color of unconditional love, divine love, divine grace also I'm hearing. So that's great. Capricorn, 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 a Capricorn. <laughs> I'm also seeing green energy, but that could also, that's mostly because you're an earth sign. So 
Well, there's that. And some yellow, too. You could be doing some solar plexus work. Also some purple for divine wisdom and spirituality. Yeah. And blue. <laughs> so expression, speaking your truth and all that. That's good. Capricorn. All right. So overall energy. We're starting you off with the king of pentacles. There you are, Capricorn. You are showing right up. Yeah, um, you're feeling stable. I feel like you're in the process of probably stabilizing. Yeah, we've got the Page of Cups. We've got Judgment. Oh, 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 oh. And we've got the Lovers, y'all. So we could be talking about love here. Um, I'm seeing also that there could be another Earth sign in your um, environment. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, or another Capricorn. Um, and I'm seeing there's, with the Page of Cups here, there is an offer of love. And this offer of love is coming from this King of Pentacles. Now, it doesn't have to be another Earth sign. Um, and this also could be you that is wanting to send a message of love. Um, but I'm really picking up here that for the most part, there is a stable, a very stable, very grounded, well-to-do masculine energy that wants to come forward, that has heard some sort of call, um, with judgment here, this is ascension, okay? This is also hearing a higher calling. Um, so Capricorn, this could be you, um, but also this masculine energy that is depicted by the King of Pentacles has heard some sort of call and now wants to send a message of love or wants to move forward in the direction of love. And then we have the lovers here. Um, a choice has been made, um, which has been spiritually guided, divinely guided, and, um, I mean, we have a deep soulmate connection here, okay? I just heard we have a forever connection here. And I'm so sad that my lover's card, look, look it got all messed up, guys. Boo. <laughs> okay, moving forward. In your storyline, we're starting off with death in reverse. There could be a Scorpio around you, but um, I feel like you're coming out of a period of transformation with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So because of this, you're coming out of this period of transformation, um, you could be feeling unstable. Now, there could also be a blockage here towards this uh, death cycle, this period of transformation. Um, and the guidance here is because of this resistance, it's you need to be balanced. You need to start balancing yourself. You need to get grounded. 333 three, three on the counter. You need to get grounded, okay? And you need to allow this process of transformation to take place. But for the most part, um, this death in reverse is just the, the, the process of transformation, which is causing you to feel a little shaky, a little unstable, or um, you're coming out of an, a transformation, a period of transformation, and so you, again, feel a little bit shaky. We have the King of Wands in reverse with uh, the Knight of Swords in reverse. Um, there could be someone around you. It could be another fire. It could be a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it's, it could be a masculine energy that was just manipulative um, and was egotistical and just not on the up and up. Um, and with the Knight of Swords in reverse, I feel like um, Capricorn, I feel like that's your energy with the Knight of Swords in the fact that you're not even trying to fight for this anymore. You're not even trying to like rush forward and like, because I feel like the Knight of Swords um, in reverse in this situation would want, would be someone wanting retribution. But with the Knight of Swords in reverse, it's, it's releasing that. I'm feeling a full and complete release of this person that was around you. Um, it could have been a romantic partner. And this also could have been the choice that was depicted in the um, uh, the, the lover's card. Um, and I feel like maybe at one point you might have rushed forward towards this person um, and they rejected you. But now with judgment here, um, you know, there's another person in your sights that actually you would much rather move towards. Um, but also... For you, Capricorn, if you are the King of Pentacles, I feel like um, this judgment, this ascension, uh, yeah, this judgment call, um, this higher calling has influenced you to just stop pursuing this negative energy with the King of Wands in reverse. Moving forward, we have ah, the Seven of Swords in reverse. So yeah, a release of, of shady behavior, of um, 
stealing and whatnot. Wowie, wow, wow. <laughs> And we've got the Queen of Wands. Guys, I've been doing these Zodiac readings all day. And there were, I think there was only one other reading, might have been two, where um, the King and the Queen of Wands did not come out together. But in the other readings, when the Queen of, when the King of, when either of these two came out, these counterparts came out, the other one came out too, okay? Um, so now the story is changing a little bit. Um, so we have... The Queen of Wands here, who is walking away from Seven of Swords energy, is done. Is done, 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 being taken advantage of, being stolen from, feeling feeling uh, betrayed, um, and is moving away in her power. It's not even like an egotistical thing. It's like a more of a self-worth thing. Um, and that seems to really be a, a common theme, you know, throughout the Zodiac this month is people finding their self-worth, okay? And in relation, and again, here we have the King of Wands in reverse. We could be talking Twin Flames um, because we have the King and Queen of Wands, which are depictions of the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine in the main, Minor Arcana. Um, but again, we have, just like in some of the other readings where the both came out, we have the King of Wands in reverse and is looking at looking right at that Queen of Wands and watching her walk away. And the knight, in this case, the Knight of Swords in reverse is saying that the King of Wands is kind of like not willing to fight for things in the past and is, um, it could be, it could be that the King of Wands wants to rush forward towards the Queen of Wands um, with this Knight of Swords energy, but is feeling blocked. And that blockage is because of the Seven of Swords energy, okay? The blockage is, um, the, the barrier between the two of them is all of the uh, deception that came into play in the relationship, yeah? Moving forward, we have the Nine of Cups. So wishes, wish fulfillment with the Knight of Pentacles. So Capricorn, this could be you again. Um, but what I'm really feeling is in, in relation to these two here, the King and the Queen of Wands, um, there is wish fulfillment between the two of them. And someone is moving forward at a slow pace, but is moving forward methodically in order to get this, um, this wish fulfillment, all right? There really has been a change. There really has been a change in somebody here, especially with judgment. Um, yeah. But also for you, Capricorn, if we're not talking about a relationship, if this is if this is resonating with you in a different way, you are slowly but surely and methodically moving towards that which would be your wish fulfillment. I'm picking up that for some of you, this could be actually a career. So you could have made a choice. Um, you could have heard a calling and you're stepping into your masculine earthly power with the King of Pentacles and you're going through a transformation that is allowing you to move, slowly move forward towards an ideal uh, work relationship or an ideal career. And in the past, um, you know, you were interacting with um, selfish manipulative energy with the King of Wands in reverse and now you're taking your power back and moving forward with your femininity as your guide and moving away from deception. Okay, moving forward, we have, yes, the chariot. So moving towards the heart's desire is what I'm hearing, coupled with the hanged man. Excellent. Okay, so that makes perfect sense because you are in this process of death and transformation and you do feel like you are, don't really, you're lacking your footing, you're, you're unstable at the moment. So you could be experiencing a moment of um, self-imposed isolation in order to see things clearly or differently so that you really can move forward towards uh, your wish fulfillment, towards your heart's desire. Sorry about that. There's a motorcycle going by. Okay, moving forward, we have the Emperor. This is this could very well be a depiction of the Divine Masculine. Um, you could have an Aries in your life. This also could be your energy, Capricorn. And then we have the Ten of Cups here. But the Ten of Cups is in reverse. Um, and I'm picking up an energy of a, a masculine energy uh, realizing that he could have had the Ten of Cups. But deception got in the way, and now his counterpart, his Queen of Wands, is walking away. So in a sense, whoever is depicted here by this emperor energy um, feels a sense of loss when it comes to that Ten of Cups, the ultimate for family, family life, the ultimate uh, emotional fulfillment. All right. Um, I am kind of, especially since it's right under the King of Wands, I am picking up some manipulative energy from the emperor um, 
which has caused this loss or seemingly this loss um, of a ten of cups situation. Now, the king of the, the emperor is upright. Okay, so that to me that's saying that the emperor is seeing things quite clearly. But the ten of cups is reversed. So this energy, this masculine energy, is seeing um, the error of his ways. Is what I'm getting. Okay, moving forward, we have the eight of wands in reverse with the six of pentacles in reverse. Uh, I do feel a desire to reach out and to communicate, but that's not happening. That's kind of blocked. And again, it's because of the deception, the imbalance between give and take in a certain relationship. This absolutely could be um, a, a, a business, a work-related situation. And so in that case, someone was just not moving forward with that business anymore. Um, I am picking up a hard stop. And it's mainly because of deception, of an imbalance between give and take. That just If it is a work environment, it was just not um, a good work environment. And I'm picking up that it's not a good work environment for anybody that's there. Even the people that are, are the, the management team or whatever, the people in charge, you know, it's not good for anybody. It's just, I just feel like it's a toxic situation. Finally, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, yeah, with, ah, Strength in reverse. So this is mostly saying, now this could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, mostly Leo because Leo could be, is mostly depicted in the Strength card. We could also have a Cancer here with the Chariot, uh, a Scorpio here with Death, but um, someone wants to have a new emotional start but does not feel that they are worthy, does not feel that they are strong enough. Um, ego could be getting in the way, stepping in, saying, no, nah, you, you, you don't deserve this, you're not, you're not good enough for this, blah, blah, blah. And I am picking up that this is coming from this King of Wands individual. Yeah. But ultimately, yeah, and we have the lovers at the, end, at the bottom of the deck. So ultimately, this person, whoever is feeling this strength in reverse with the Ace of Cups, you know, you have a deep soulmate connection here with the, the lovers. Um, but someone is not feeling confident enough to step out in the open and go after what it is they want. Okay. Let's get some action oracle guidance here from the Oracle of the Unicorns for Capricorn for the month of June. messages for Capricorn, please. Here we are. Compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. All right. So there is a call. There is a need for compassion here. Regardless of what has happened, um, whether this is a work situation or this is a love situation, regardless, compassion is always needed. If you are leaving a, uh, a business situation because it wasn't beneficial for you, I would encourage you not to leave with animosity in your heart. Have compassion. Number one, compassion for the people that are still, that, are, that you're leaving behind at this icky situation, but compassion for those who, you know, manipulated you, took advantage of you. There could be any reason why, you know what I mean? Doesn't necessarily mean that they're bad people, even though they have acted in ways that were not the best, but ultimately compassion is the best way to view the situation as you move forward okay because because ultimately that will come back to you because the energy that you put out there will definitely come back to you okay so you want to make sure that you're not putting out neck icky energy for it to just come roaring <laughs> roaring back into your face all right so um final message from spirit spiritual guidance here from the crystal mandala oracle deck best message for capricorn please spirit this one we have huh? card number 43 goddess goddess matangi and heliotrope uh already there is value gosh my ears are ringing Ooh, okay, 43. All right, already there is value. 
We bring you the, the empowerment to see that already there is value. It is natural for creative energy to become excited by new possibilities, new ideas, and new forms. It is also possible, however, for creative energy to become engaged in liberating an undiscovered value within that which already exists, polishing it until it shines with divine light. Sometimes there is a need to shed the past and all associated with it completely, starting afresh. We've got death here, okay, transformation. However, at other times there is something of value from the past that can, if allowed to bask in the light of your creativity, become very valuable for, the, for your future. In your enthusiasm to move forward in life with the chariot, don't forget to take the value that already exists in your world along with you. Yeah, so that could be what this moment of introspection, or I'm sorry, um, self-imposed isolation to reach enlightenment uh, or to see something differently could be with the hanged man, okay? Realizing that something in the past, something from your past actually really has a, some great value to you. That could also be what judgment is. Like you have this... Is this you hear this call from spirit to, to rekindle something from your past and I'm picking up that this could be a career situation um, that you kind of left behind and in that situation if it is a career the lovers talks about this choice between something that you know you've been doing or something that you've always wanted to do yeah all right so there it is Capricorn Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you guys again for the month of July. Yeah, take care. Bye.